Oh. And I have to business with my family. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. How was your day, tell me. Uh, today I went to Cerotrasen to, oh. to transmit the license. Yeah, the, dri the driver's license, yes. Oh, okay, the driver's license. So finally I, I get the, dri the driver's license. Excellent, congratulations. Congratulations Thanks. to you. You're welcome. All right, uh, what about Roxana? How was your day? It was good. I have a French class, at, uh, uh, although a través, I don't remember what, it, how do you say? Through, through. Through, through, through. A Google Meet. Oh. Yes. Sounds good, sounds good. I mean, the, you are learning another language, yeah. Yes. So then, I like it, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Okay, what about Gisela? Good evening, welcome. How's it going today, Gisela? Hi, good night. Hi. I have How a really you? great day. Excellent, I like it. Asking. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Very good. Thank you too for, for joining everybody. We're going to begin with the session, but before to do it, well, let me know if you if you have some problems with the platform. Everything all right? Yes, only I um, had problem uh, only in the section three in the audio about about um, uh, carnival, carnival of Rio okay. um, with the the question two and three because I I listened in audio uh, the, the the answer but I can write in the correct way for oh. platform okay yes so. I I use I used the the bear to be and the very last for uh, the the question is where is where is the 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 carnival in in and the other is when and the other question I don't remember exactly is do uh, the last uh, but I don't know how right oh okay. So you had a problem with, I mean, by typing the answer. There, uh, or you uh, couldn't select There the, are yeah. four, four questions. Yeah. I answered uh, the number one and number four, but number two and number three, I can, I can, uh, I can write in the correct way. I okay. listen the, 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 what is the, the answer in, in the Oreo. But yeah. I can write in the correct way. Mm, okay. I couldn't write. Okay. Well, only and, only in this in this section I have problem. Yeah. The and and uh, at the moment I worked in the section four. Okay. Perfect. So you, you are advanced, right? Yes. <laughs> I like to, I like to work in the in the yeah. platform. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Priscilla, sorry? Yes, I have a, a, almost the same question that Roxana, because when I working at the platform, when I write the, the answers a, and I put it like to check in, they I run. So a, I try, I try, I try, and maybe the fourth time it I got it right so I don't know how it count uh, all the mistakes before because the answer it was the same but I only try to write it in a different way so in that case uh, with those 
specific questions you have to type, right? You have to type the, the answer. Or do we have multiple choices? Yes, it was multiple choices, oh, okay. but when I finished the answer, it was the same that I write it before. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they, I got it wrong. If at the last time that I do it, it I got it right. Yeah. I don't know the platform because I hear that if you're doing one or two, two or three times the same exercise. I don't know how it counts for the grade for the end of the uh, course. Okay, um, in that case, what we can do, and that is a piece of advice that I can give you. Next time that you have that question, that issue with you know, some questions, multiple choices, or even if you have to type the answer, you can send me or you can take a screenshot, okay? You can send me the screenshot, all right? So I can see what is the problem, or I can ask, in this case, uh, another person, another authority from England, okay? So let me know, let me know in, in case you have some other troubles with platform or let's see what is the problem, okay? We, we can see what is the problem in this case. And, and then you can ask someone in case the problem continues. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, uh, I want to welcome Luis, Mauricio, and Roxana. They are in the meeting. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. You? I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. Yes. Hi, how are Hi, how are you? Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Are you? Sorry. How are you? How's uh, it going? Very good. I Excellent. have a, a busy day. Yeah. But, and the important is uh, <clears throat> stay here for the class. Exactly, exactly. We have to have to continue increasing uh, our knowledge. And of course, I appreciate your time. I know that you are busy, have a lot to do in your work, but it's nice to have you in the meeting. Welcome everybody, one more time. It's nice to see you, it's great to have you. Uh, what about Sana? How are you, Sana? Hey, Manuel, okay. welcome. Oh, uh, uh, I don't understand what about your answer. How are Sorry. you today? How are you? What? How are you? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fine? Everything okay? Perfect. Very yes. nice. Thank you for joining. We are starting. And so I was asking your classmates before to, to display in this case, uh, the presentation that I have for you. I was asking your classmates if you, you, you know, haven't had some troubles with platform, if everything is okay, you're doing your activities, the platform, remember that we have to complete all the activities in there. And I want to remind you about the, the, the meter, remember that we're gonna do it this week. Let's get ready. Continue practicing it. You can check your nose, you can check the platform, etc. And remember that this coming Thursday, we're going to do the quiz for the meter. Okay. So let me know if you have problems with the platform. You can contact me, you can show me, or you can send me some screenshots in case you have some troubles in there, or you can explain the problem that you have to me. Okay. Oh, Lord. Thank you again. You know, what about you? How are you? Everything good? Well, I hope you're fine. Thank you for joining. Let me know if everything is fine with 
the equipment, the audio, the microphone, if you can listen to me very well. Then to start, and we're going to have, you know, in this case, imperatives and imperatives. We're going to continue using imperatives and imperatives for suggestions, remember. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. This is session picks. And, well, the previous session we were saying that, well, what do you remember? What is an imperative? Do you remember? What is an imperative? What is an imperative? What do you remember? Uh, when it's when you uh, use a, a bear without subject and exactly. it's for suggestion. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be a suggestion. It could be a suggestion. And they have different uses. Do you remember the uses of imperatives? When you yeah. give uh, an order. Exactly. So you give an order. That is one of the uses. A command. Commands. Yeah, commands. 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 What else? Uh, you use about, when you uh, yeah. polite suggestions? Yeah. It could be polite suggestions too. What about if I if I say uh, do your homework? Do your homework. Mm -hmm. Or complete this these exercises with the core for imperatives. What is that? Uh, don't forget. To, don't forget to do your homework. Yeah, don't forget to do your homework. Very good. What else? Uh, Chris? Another is uh, be sure, be sure, be sure, be sure, uh, be sure. Be sure. to do your homework. Exactly, exactly. That is another imperative, and we include an infinitive. What is an infinitive? What do you remember? What is an infinitive? infinitive you use the verb in the base four, and you add the particle to add the Beginning? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is, can you give me an example of an infinitive? Um, be an example. Um, <laughs> uh, to... For example, if you say, uh, I have to do I have to complete the platform. So in that case, I have uh, an imperative. Or an imperative. I have to complete the platform. We have an imperative. I mean, because we have two verbs. Yes. Two verbs. So we use an imperative to complete. I have to complete. So we have a main yes. verb, have. Yes. And we have. We need or we want to use another verb. So when we have to unite, I'm sorry, we have to unite the two verbs. I have to complete the platform. That yes. is the way of using imperatives. You, you, you join to verb. Exactly. We join, we connect two verbs. Very good. And. A question. Uh, with the imperatives. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I thought that the imperatives uh, that you have to use is must. For example, uh, in that example that you write it, it's I must to complete the platform. Mm, okay. So you say must, it's very right, must. Yes. Okay. Uh, be careful. Just because... an imperative case. Mm, no, we cannot use it. We cannot use must in okay. Why? Because must, must is a model. It's a model. OK? 
Okay, and we can say, for example, I must do my homework. But that is different. That is different. Mm -hmm. So we tend to, to use must. We have have to. Must, must, different obligations. With obligations. And we tend to use it with, you know, when we have a, a subject, etc. For example, the boy, the boy must do the homework. That could be an obligation that he has. Or the girl must do the homework. The must is a model. It's a model that we use. And that model is accompanied by a subject. And we have a component. We have a verb and a component. So we don't use it in imperatives. We use it in, in sentences. In this case, we have a subject, the model, the verb, and the component. Okay? It's uh, like and we, when you use the, the modal verb, you use the 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 verb without two. You use okay. the, only the verb in the base form or in the base form. Yeah, in base form. Base form. Base form. Without two. We can say infinitive. We can say infin in the in the infinitive form without two. Yeah, as we said, without two. We don't use two. I mean, we use infinitive. Yeah, the verb is an infinitive. But we don't use is without to. We don't say I must to do because that is incorrect. It's correct. I must do my homework. It's like can. Can is another model. I can swim. So we use the verb in base form and it's without to. Without to. We use to when we have like two verbs, a main verb and we have a Second verb, okay. So we join the two verbs and we are constructing a sentence. That is why. But we don't use it in imperatives. In imperatives, we use only verbs, only verbs. When we say, for example, stand up, sit down, do your home. Those are verbs, only verbs, yes. Only verbs. And must another form. We're going to see that later. Must, because we use must for obligations, etc. Okay. For okay. now, you know, we we're going to continue with imperatives and imperatives. We say that we mix, we mix the two forms, uh, imperatives and infinitives, and you know, to come up with great suggestions. So we are trying to get. Great suggestion. And as you said previously, that is a, a structure that we were discussing in the previous session, imperative plus infinitive. We start with an imperative, and as you said, with imperatives, we don't use subjects. We don't include them. Okay, we start with a with a verb. And then we have the infinitive. In this case, infinitive with two, okay? To play, to do. To complete, etc. And that is a great suggestion. That is a polite suggestion. For example, the common expressions that we were seeing in the previous session were to say, be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Okay. So, related to imperatives, we were saying that we have affirmative and negative forms. Okay? And we can say, for example, do your homework or don't use your cell phone in class. Those are some simple imperatives. But if you want to use these expressions and we want to provide suggestions, we can say, be sure, we use an imperative, for example, be sure or the television on or be sure or the computer on, be sure to turn it on. Be sure turning on. That is one, one example. Another possibility, you know, don't forget, dial the area code. Don't forget to dial the area code. 
Okay. Now, for example, make sure to hit the end bottom. The end bottom. So if you're making a call, if you're making a call. So you have to make sure, I mean, make sure to hit the end bottom. Okay, hit. So you press, you press the end bottom. Remember, remember to pay the bill every month. And the last one, again, like I said in the previous session, we're gonna have some, you know, negative ways. You can say try, and we use not before the infinitive. To, and we continue. Try not to. Even we can do it with this other form. We can say make sure, make sure not to. You want to use negative. Okay, try not to, make sure not to, be sure not to. Um, another one, remember not to. Not to. Okay, so that is where we can construct negative way. Okay, don't forget to dial the area code, make sure to hit the, the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month and try not to talk too long. Okay? Because I will I will have or I don't have enough data, for example. Okay. So that is the way we use you know imperatives and dependencies that we're discussing in the previous session. Okay. Any questions that you have? That is too. This one. I don't have question. Okay. Everything is good. Okay. Oh, yeah. What about the rest? If you need some help, if you want me to provide you more examples, just let me know and I can give you more. Yes. For me, it's clear, teacher. For me, it's clear too. Thank you. For example, we, if we use negative forms, uh, we can say like, make sure not to be late at class. Okay? Make sure not to be late in class. That is a, a suggestion that you're making. And it is a positive suggestion. Make sure not to be in class, not to be late in class, sorry. Okay? It, it is in negative way, yeah, but it's a positive, that is a suggestion that you give it. Make sure not to be playing class, okay? And as we said, or well, as Stella asked me yesterday, if we can vary in this case the forms, yes, we can, because those make sense. For example, if you say, be sure not to be late in class, be sure not to be late in class or try not to be late in class, okay? So we can vary this case. We can have different variations, right? Well, let me move on. I have another conversation. We're going to see how we use or how we give suggestions in context. This is a, another conversation. Uh, the previous one was different. I brought another one. Again, we had Jenny and Charlie, yeah? And Jenny is trying to ask for help, okay? So here we go, listen, and then we're going to practice a little bit. It says, Jenny and Charlie, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? First, thanks. Now, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you have not pressed the, the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Make sure to hit the end button once, the end, once you end the call. I will, hence. Okay, 
So we are giving suggestions in this case, as you can see, in conversations, it depends on the context. And we are giving suggestions. These are polite suggestions, okay? Again, well, I need some participants, some volunteers for the conversation. Me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I will begin and I have more other volunteers, pretty good. See, I will begin with about Gisela and Luis, if you have a please. Okay, yes. Gisela, you will be Jenny and Luis, you will be Charlie. Okay. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Uh, first of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to, to dial to area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. But because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh God, it's ringing. Make sure to hit the end button once you end the call. I will, thanks. Thank you too, thank you. Pretty cool. All right, so I will have some Richard. other volunteers. Richard. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Sorry, uh, what is the pronunciation first of all? But oh, yeah. it... first. Sure, sure, you say first of all. First of first all. all. First of all. First of all. First of all. First of all. Thank first of all. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Okay, let's see. I will have Roxana. Yes. Sí. And another volunteer. Thank you. Maria? I'm the other volunteer. Okay, so I will go with Josue and Roxana. Josue, okay. you are Charlie, and Roxana, you will be Jen. Okay? okay? Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it, turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Make sure to hit the, the end button once you end the call. I will, thanks. Excellent, thank you. That was good. All right, let me see if I have some other participants. I will select Manuel and we'll have Mauricio. Oh. And Jenny. Okay, I will have Manuel, Mauricio, and then we'll have Roxanne. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's go with Manuel and Mauricio. In, me, me with okay. Mauricio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go with Manuel and Roxanne. It's okay. Manuel okay. And Roxanne. Can Sorry, I borrow? You... Okay, yeah, you're Jenny. And Manuel, you are Charlie. Sorry. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my bus? Of course. Oh, of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First, first of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to deal the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Make sure to hit the, the end button on you end the call. I will, thanks. Very good, thank you. Thank you too. All right, so I will have Mauricio because Mauricio is missing. And well, we're going to perform the conversation. Mauricio, I will help you. Yes. Who wants to be? I mean, who, who would you like to be? Who would you like to be? <laughs> Jenny or Charlie? Charlie. Okay, course. Charlie. Oh, okay, very good. Roxana, you're going to help me again, okay? <laughs> Roxana, you are Jenny. You're going to perform the conversation okay. with 
Let's go on the count of three. One, two, three. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Can I borrow? Uh, yes. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to deal the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the button, the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Make sure to hit the end button on you end the call. I will, thanks. Good work, good work, excellent, nice. Okay, perfect, will we continue? Let me know, I want to know if you have questions about conversation. Let me know if you want to have a doubt or something that's not clear. Everything's okay. 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 Everything is okay. Perfect. It's okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. All right, moving on. So we can identify in the conversation some guests that Harley, that Harley is giving Jenny, okay? Like, be sure to turn it on, to turn the phone on. Uh, don't forget to dial the area code. Uh, also, we have to make sure to hit the end button once you finish, okay? No, no. Wait, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. No one. Okay. So we're going to continue because I have some other exercises related to this. What I want to do, I will show you some sentences. I need to look at this. Look at the sentences, but I can practice a little bit with imperatives and infinitives, and you have to arrange the words, organize them, and construct the correct word, okay? So I have the following exercises, following sentences. I need to organize all the words. I'll give you some time. And then we're going to say, we're going to tell the correct forms, okay? Let's go. I will give you a couple of minutes and then we're gonna do it. We're gonna have a discussion. Okay, let's go. If you need some help, everything okay. is for you. Let me know, okay? Let's go. Okay, the first. Okay, okay, let's go. Uh, be sure to practice with, uh, uh, be sure to practice with your friends. Exactly. Exactly, that is the first one. Very good, so Luis, help us with the first one. Be sure to... Practice. Practice, yeah. Practice with, with your, your friends. friends. Very good, that is the first one. Very good, thank you, Luis. That is the first one. We have the first one. What I wanted to do, guys, continue in your notebooks. Let's go with the other ones. And in a couple of minutes, I will start and you have to help me with the other ones. Okay, Luis, help us with the first one. Very good. Let's continue with the other ones. Your numbers. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.
by the way, I have one one question. How many are you in the group? Forgot to, to ask. Forgot to ask that yesterday. How many are you in the group? How many? Because yesterday I had 11, 11 people. How many are you? In the previous classes? Mm, yeah, in the previous classes. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but yesterday I counted 11. 11. So probably you probably, I mean, you're 11, I think. I think so. In the in the first class, uh, Connex almost fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Okay. Very good. Thank you for the info. I'm asking you this because you know I need to know if I have more participants. Because yeah, yesterday I saw eleven. So I know that yesterday you were eleven. Very good. Thank you. Let me know once you're ready, okay? Have to pay close attention to all the words. So uh, word by word. You ready to start? I think yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to begin, I think. We're going to share the examples, I finish. The ideas. I finish. Very good. Looks like Let's begin. I the finish. first one, perfect. Okay. With the, the first. first one, with the first one, uh, please help us. Help us. Be sure to practice with your Be friends. Sure to practice with your friends. Exactly. Be sure to practice with your friends. That is the first one. Very cool. Thank you, Luis. I will go with the second one. Okay, the second one is make sure to use a dictionary in class. 
Yeah. Very good. Make sure to use dictionary. To use a dictionary in class. In class. Very good. Yeah. That is a that is a good suggestion, you know, for, for you guys too. Okay. Make sure to use a dictionary in class. Okay. Number three, Roxana. Um, uh, don't forget to think and speak in English. Exactly. Or to speak and think. <laughs> I don't think again. Don't, again. Forget. Again. don't forget. Don't forget to think and speak in English. Yeah. It is correct. Don't forget. Correct. Yeah. It is think correct. Think and speak. In English. In English, exactly. Yeah, this is the way. It's right. Teacher. Right. Yeah, tell Teacher. me. Teacher. In, in the other way, in the other way, don't forget to speak and think in English. Is correct? Mm, it Change could be. Speak or think. Yeah, it, it could be because remember that you speak. And you think at the same time, I mean, you think the words in your mind. So it could be, don't forget to speak and think in English. Or you can say, don't forget to think and speak in English. Okay. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. And as you can see, in this case, we have two verbs, two yes. different verbs. Think, think and, and speak. Then speak. Exactly, that is another combination that you can we can do. Don't forget to think and speak in English. Okay, very good. Let's go with number four. Tell her to do your English homework. Yes, absolutely. Remember to do your English, your English class, English homework time, English homework. Yes. Number five. Let's see if your classmates. Oh no. Ready? Number five. Number, number five, yes. Uh, try to do English homework. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Try, try to work. Properly pronunciation, pronunciation. Okay, repeat again. Try to pronounce it properly. Pronounce, to pronounce. Works. Yeah. Very good. Try to pronounce. Repeat again, Manuel. Pronounce. Words. Properly. 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 Yeah, exactly. Try to pronounce words properly. Exactly. That is a way. Number six, Oksana. Okay. Remember not to translate into your native language. Yeah. Remember not to translate into. into. Into your native, native language. Wish. Yeah. So, what is our native language, guys? What is our native language? Uh, Spanish. Spanish, yeah. Spanish. So, that no. is a. Uh... Sorry? I not know. Yeah, now. Yeah, now. Uh, well, that is, that is a good language, right? I mean, it is, you know, languages. But anyways, I mean, it could be, it could be now. We have a Spanish, yeah? And that is a good piece of advice for you. Don't translate yes. words, phrases, sentences into your native language. But it's, our native language. Spanish. It's very difficult. <laughs> it is, it is. Sometimes it is. I translate in my mind and, and, yeah. and you can speak in the in 
um, fluent, fluency with fluency oh. when you do uh, when you translate in your mind. Exactly, exactly. So that's why it is not recommended in some cases to do it because you think in Spanish. I mean, all the time, and when you speak, yes. yeah, you, you speak in English, but in some cases you have some difficulties when saying the ideas. So that's why remember not to translate or remember, don't forget to think and speak it in. Very good. Let's go with the last one, number seven. I will listen to Maurice. Are you ready with the last one, Mauricio? Let's see if I find Mauricio here. All right. Okay, volunteer for the last one, number seven. Be sure to not speak in your native language. Yeah. Be sure. Be sure not to speak. Speak in your native language. In your native language. Yeah, I mean, this is similar to the previous one. I mean, but in this case, because we are in an English, environment so we don't have to speak and okay very good but that is the way as you can see for all the sentences very good job you told me the correct forms we're going to continue but let me know if you have questions related to this passage no everything is good okay. okay very good i'm sorry Okay, Wait. we will continue. Now, we're going to use uh, these common expressions. I have, listen, you have to write in order the suggestions by using imperatives and infinitives. What do we have to do? I have in here the expressions, yes. Be sure to, make sure to, don't forget to. Remember to, make sure to, and try not to. What we have to do, I have, this is a, let's say the procedure that we follow when we are getting photocopies or copies okay, in a printer. This is a printer. What do we have to do first? I mean, when someone, you know, gives us or suggestions in this case, how do we have to manage or manipulate the printer, okay? For example, if someone tells us, like, be sure to turn the machine on. That is the first one, okay? That is the first thing that someone can tell us, okay? Be sure to turn the machine or the printer on. Probably the printer is off, okay? That is one of the, the first suggestions that probably another person can give us, okay? What I will do, listen, in your notebooks, I will give you five minutes. In your notebooks, I need you to order those ideas. Let's continue. What do we, what do we have to do next? What is the other suggestion? Be sure to turn the machine on. Let's go with number two, three, until number six. Okay, let's go. I will give you some time. Be sure to turn the machine. So basically we have to join, join the ideas. Relatives and infinite. Let's go. So they have, the other half that we have on your right, those ideas say, for example, select the number of copies we need, turn the machine on, check if the machine, if the machine has enough paper, put the copy upside down, uh, press the star button, and leave the copy on the machine. Let's go. So we we'll go in that order. Be sure to, make sure to, don't forget to, and at the end, try not to. That is the order. That is the order.
We finish, let me know, okay? Let me know. Uh, just finish, teacher. Okay. I Very finish. Good. Excellent. Okay. Two more minutes, two more minutes. Finished. What is, okay, what, what is the first suggestion that you can give me? I mean, I have to get some copies. And, well, I, I can't manipulate or manage the printer because it's this printer, look. Uh, a different printer as we know the, the traditional ones, a different printer. And this one has different function. What is a first suggestion that you you can give me? Be sure. Yes, be sure to turn the machine on. Exactly. Be sure to turn the machine on. Yeah, because probably you know the machine is off. Like I said before. What is next, guys? What is next? Yeah. What? Me? Okay, let's go with Roxana then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but <laughs> make sure to check if the machine has enough paper. Okay. Make sure to check if the machine has enough paper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. But it's second. Okay. I will do it. I will do it. Make sure to check if the machine has enough paper. The printer. Perfect. What is uh, next? Teacher. Luis, yeah? Teacher. Uh, for the same, uh, uh, I can use uh, two or three uh, sentences. For example, it, it, for different make forms. sure to check. Uh -huh. I, I I can use uh, uh, remember to check if the machine has enough paper. Exactly. We can vary. We can vary. You can say remember to check if the machine has enough paper. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Very good. Thanks for the reminder, Chris. Very good. Let's go with is that next? Remember to put the copy upside down. Okay, so you tell me number four, right? Um, yes. No. Okay. I mean, uh, he said okay. I said because we don't forget. I have don't forget to check if the machine has enough paper. Mm. Okay. Interesting. And the and I make with the. Make sure the first one, make sure to select the number of copies you need. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah, we can vary. We can vary. We can say, don't forget, you know, but right now we are in this order. We have this order. Okay. Be sure to turn the machine on. 
Make sure to check if the machine has enough paper. You said that you told me number four. Remember to put the copy upside down. Very good. I will listen to Josue. Will you help me with number three? Don't forget to. Okay. Don't forget to press the start button. Okay. Press the start button. Very good. Do you agree with Josue? Yes, I agree yes. with him. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That Very is good. A, a real problem. Yeah. Because exactly. you, you want to, to impress uh, something and you forget that the that is turned off. Yeah, exactly. So that happens. That happens. Very good. Well, you know, because in this case, it depends. It depends on the way we manipulate, it depends on the way we use the printer. In my case, in my case, okay, you say those specific you know, steps. In my case, I have, don't forget to select the number of copies you need, okay? So first, you select the number. I mean, probably you you copy in a different, let's say piece of paper, how many copies do you need, okay? But yeah, the observation or the one that Jose told me in this case, remember, don't forget to to press the start button. Okay, you 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 start you start the the printer first, exactly, and then you can select number of copies you need. Yeah, could be, could be. So number four, number four. Remember two. Number two. I have. I remember press the start button. Press the start button. So I have that one in my case. Probably you have different, you know, different steps. And it's okay because like I said before, we uh, do different, different, you know, processes, okay? Next, make sure to? Uh, try, make sure to leave the copy in on the machine. On the machine, okay? Make sure to leave the copy on the machine. Anybody else? I think it's not, try not to leave the copy on the machine. Okay, last one. Try not to leave the copy on the machine. And make sure to, another possibility, make sure to put the copy outside down. <laughs> no, it yeah. is the correct. Okay, yeah, make sure to put the copy upside down. Upside down? No, because the copy is bad. I mean, but if you print one side of the of the copy or the of the paper, sorry, and then you upside down, so probably you want the okay, the two ways. I mean, the two sides. Okay, so you put copy upside down, upside down. That is the upside down. So you have in both ways, in the both sides, sorry, both sides you have uh, printed. You have a, a something printed. Okay, that is upside down. So you turn the paper ar uh, around, okay? So you turn the paper on, that is upside down, okay? And the last one, try not to leave the copy in the machine means that you have to take your copy. You don't have to leave it in there, okay? So that is the order that I have in here. First, you, you can have some different steps. The, 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 the process that we follow when we want to print something or when we want to give suggestions, okay? Does it make sense? Teacher, no, I have a question. Sure. Uh, for example, in Spanish, upside down for me is al revés. Yeah, I mean... In the, you... in the sentences, asegúrate poner la copia al, al revés. Mm. Exactly. For example, I have a, a, a mini paper sheet in here. So you print, you printed this part, you uh -oh. print it, and then you want to upside down. Okay, you want to get this other part with some, let's say, printed, printed text. 
Okay, so you want to turn the paper around. Okay, so you have to get it two sides with some tags. Okay, that is upside down. Anybody else questions? Does it make sense? Is everything good? Yes. Okay. What about the rest? Okay. Hello, Isela. Oh, Isela said yes. All right. What about the rest? Questions? No. no teacher, no question. Very good, very good, thank you. All right, well, it's time. We're going to stop right here. We will continue tomorrow. Remember that this coming Thursday, we will, we will take the, the meter, so we have to do it. And continue, please, doing the platform, complete the platform. And if you have some doubts, if you have some problems with the platform, just let me know. You can contact me. Even you can send me a screenshot in case I have any problem with, with that. And well, I will be here. Here is our support. All right? Well, we're going to finish right here. It's time. We'll continue tomorrow. It has been a okay. pleasure to be with you. Thank you for being here, for your time. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Take care of good, good night, good night teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Oh, see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow too. Hey, bless you. I bless you too.